Hello and welcome to Erica Cole Cooking. In today's video, we're gonna be making some Swedish meatballs. Y'all, these are the Ikea Swedish meatballs, copycat. They are so good, if not better than the Ikea ones. Very flavorful and they do not have any pork because the Ikea ones come with pork. I'm so glad I made these and I'm so happy to bring you this recipe, so let me show you. So to make our better than Ikea Swedish meatballs, we're gonna follow the Ikea recipe, but I'm just gonna alter it just a little bit. It calls for a half a pound of pork ground meat, but I don't eat pork, so I'm gonna substitute this for turkey meat. So this is a half a pound of turkey meat and a whole pound of ground beef. So now we're just gonna season our meat. Now, the shopping list will be in the description box. I'm gonna tell you everything as I go along. So I'm gonna show you some of the things you're gonna need. These are onions. It actually calls for a, a quite few things, y'all. So um, I have red crumbs, milk, uh, butter, soy sauce, heavy cream, flour. Then you're just gonna need like salt and pepper to season. The first thing we're gonna do is add in a whole chopped onion. And I already have my onions chopped, so I'm gonna go ahead and add those in. I don't really want that much, so I'm not gonna actually add that whole thing in there. Next, we're gonna add in one teaspoon of minced garlic. It's always hard to get out. It always wanna stay in there. It don't never wanna come out. Now we're gonna add in our egg. Our half a cup of breadcrumbs. We're gonna go ahead and mix that all up. This is gonna make a lot, y'all. Oh yeah, don't forget to season with salt and pepper. So you wanna season that, I'm telling you right now. You don't wanna not season this meat. You're gonna season this. You don't have to go crazy because you're about to put it in some flavorful sauce, so you don't wanna go mad, but just season it, okay? You wanna get some flavor, extra flavor to that. So now I'm gonna take a small amount and turn it into a meatball. I don't know how big you like them. Just judge by eye how you want them. Maybe two tablespoons might be enough, but I'm just gonna grab them and just eyeball them. So you just wanna make it into a ball. So this is how it looks. And I'm gonna put them inside my bowl. So I'll show you one more and then I'm not gonna bore you guys with this. Here's another one. And you can wear gloves if you want. So it made 13 and I have this little bit left. So actually 14, I guess. It looked like it was a lot, but once you start making the meatballs, it, it's really not, I guess. <laughs> and some of them are a little tiny bigger than others, but that's okay. It's all right. They're around the same size, so they should cook evenly get done around the same time okay so now we're done with this I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the refrigerator and move on to our sauce this is what they look like so just to give you an idea so next I'm gonna drop the butter so we can go ahead and make our roux now we're gonna add it in our flour Okay, this is gonna make our roux, so we're gonna go ahead and whisk that in. Now, don't be afraid when it gets all clumped up. That's how it's supposed to look. Next, we're gonna add in our beef broth. One cup of vegetable broth. And we're just gonna whisk that all in. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna use two teaspoons of soy sauce. OK, 
Okay, now we're just gonna season to taste. I didn't taste it, but I know it needs some seasoning in there. Put some salt and pepper up in there. Okay, then we're gonna give it a taste. Mmm, that's pretty good. Put like a pinch of sugar in here. Just to balance it out a little bit. So we got our meatballs out the refrigerator. Our grease is getting hot, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to put those in. Okay, we'll be real careful about putting these in here. Because I want them to stay around. Put them in my hand. Put on my hand. So we're gonna let these cook a little bit and I'll turn them over. Okay, let's go ahead and flip these over. The one side should already be brown. So I'm gonna flip these over and see. So this one's already brown. So I'm gonna cover these with a lid so they can cook internally. Okay, now that our meatballs are done, we're gonna go ahead and put them into the sauce. Pour the drippings in here because the drippings are good. They're so good. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of parsley on top of this. You gotta sprinkle parsley, it just makes everything better. So here is Ikea Copycat Swedish Meatballs. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I know I did, I love these things, they are so good. Look at the color, look at the texture, they are so bomb. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it does help my channel. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Hit the notifications bell so you know when I post. Follow me on all my social media platforms. My name is Erica Cole Cooking on every one. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know if you're going to make this recipe and how you do your Swedish meatballs if you have a different way you make them. So don't say I didn't show you. Make sure you share this recipe with your peoples. I know they love some good food. I heart food and I heart you. Until the next one.